Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today with an update on my wax challenge that or a candle challenge that I am trying to do for 2020. I'm trying to get through 12 candles. I showed you in my first video 12 candles that I wanted to get through and just like everything else in my life, I can't follow a freaking rule. So one candle that I have gotten through was not in a video and one that I started today and just blew it out. Yeah, it's almost lit. It's pretty solidified there. I had to blow it out to do this video. Was not in those 12. So I've already finished two and um, so I've got two more. So there's a total of 14 involved now. Um, so I wanted to let you know the two that I have finished for in January and it worked out perfectly because the one that I finished yesterday was on the 31st. I got it completely finished and I started this brand new one today um, on the 1st of February. So we're going to see where we can get this month. So the first one that I finished last month was in the challenge in the beginning and it is Angel Wings from Yankee Candle. And this one, I started melting this one before um, January started a couple of days um, before it. Um, I can smell a little bit in, of it, in it here, but I really could not smell this thing. Sometimes when I would bend over it to try to smell it while it was burning, I could smell it, but really there wasn't a lot of scent in it. So I just burned it just to get through it, say I got through it and went on. Um, it looks like there's a ton of wax in there, but I don't know if you can see in there. I'm trying to get it where you can see. But it is down to where the metal is on the wick. And so there's like really no more wick to burn. So um, I don't know why it's so high because the other one that I got through last night is in the same place and it looks like there's a lot more wax gone. There is actually a lot more wax gone, so I'm not real sure what the theory is. But um, I think I have another one of these of this size and I, if I get through a lot of my candles, I may throw it in and just burn it um, for ambiance and stuff like that. But um, was not one of my favorite ones. Um, and I just saw this one. I got it from Trader Joe's the other day and I might just throw that one in this month too. We'll just see. Um, the one that I finished last night was Yankee Candles Garden Party, and I got this at Marshall's. Um, it's just like a birthday cake. Well, right there, it's just a, a fire. I've done that twice now today. I had it in my wax empties, and yeah. But this one, they're both down, of these two, they're both down to the metal, and this one you can see a lot more of the metal and the wax is gone and this one you can see the metal and there's still a lot of wax so um, there I did have some like tunneling issues I do have it in a hurricane in there but it's not up close to the sides you know there may be about that much on both sides of it so um, I would just take a knife and just bend it over and then it would um, eventually melt down but I got it to melt pretty good so I got through these two for um, January so I've got through 12 out no two out of my 12 that I wanted for the year so um, I'm kind of ahead of the game right now even though I added two more in there but if I just get 12 for the year done I will be happy um, but now there's 14, possibly 15 added in there. Um, so, but I want to get as many candles out of here that I possibly can. So the one that I started today on February 1st melting is the Berry Trifle. And this one was full and that's where I started and I blew it out just a minute ago. Um, it's a little bit afternoon around here, so this will be going the rest of the day, and I know this will pull out, and we'll be fine. I'm not worried about it at all. But I can smell this one. This one smells 
Um, I had it burning in there. I could smell it. I walked in there one time. I couldn't smell it, but it may be because I have a wax scent in there as well going. So, um, I have that one going and I started it today and hopefully I, I know I will be able to get through at least this one this month. And the second one I want to try to get through is this Acquiesce. Um, it's sandal, sandalwood vanille. And I got this several years ago at Marshall's. And this thing is something that if you throw it at someone, you will knock them out. Because the jar or the vessel it is in is very thick, as you can see. These have never been very strong, but um, I think just the ambiance of them will be enough. And it is a... Um, are these perfectly balanced in a purest natural wax? So it says it's... Oh, a scented soy candle is what this is. So this is soy, and hopefully this will be good too. Um... I did have my air conditioner guy come out. He did change to a new filter and I showed him, I told him I'd been burning candles and he's like, that's not good. And I'm like, I know, but look at the filter and tell me if it's bad. And he looked at it and he goes, I can't even tell you've been melting candles. And I'm like, that's what I want to hear. And he's like, do you want me to change it? I was like, well, it's been in there for a year. So yeah, so we changed it. So things were doing good. Hopefully they, they stay that way. I will not be burning any Bath and Body Works candles because I think that and the Colonial candles um, were the ones that got me in trouble because the more wicks there is, the more soot it produces. I don't want it. I do not want my air conditioner tore up. So, um, I got this candle last week at Trader Joe's and I just wanted, it smells absolutely freaking amazing. I don't know that I've ever melted one of Trader Joe's candles before but we're gonna try it it's in this little tin and this one is lemon cookie and it smells amazing I picked it up and I smelled it and I'm like really that's going in the basket yeah so I decided to get that so these are made with natural soy wax blend and lead free cotton wick so I'm gonna try this one out as well and see how this one works so, if I'm lucky, I can get through these three. So, um, yeah, now we're up to 15 candles. We're supposed to be going down, but somehow we're managed to go up. So, um, if I can manage to get these candles done and not tear my filter up and get them melted and used up and not get rid of them just because, you know, I want to get rid of, you know, just send them to the Goodwill or whatever, um, I want to get my money worth. Um, I don't want to go out and purchase something new. I'm on a budget. I'm trying to save money. Um, I want to get my bills paid off. I want to get um, the bathroom redone in my house and the siding done on my house. And then after that, I want to start re saving more towards retirement. And um, so I was standing in my house the other day and I realized that I have enough in this house that I'm going to be okay for a while, whether it's wax, whether it's candles or anything else. Um, I have enough. So right now I'm really enjoying melting or burning these candles. Um, I go check on them all the time. I go, you know, I try to see if there's a scent on them. Um, so I'm really enjoying candles and wax again. I think it's because I'm using up what I have. I'm not going out and trying to buy the latest and greatest new ones. Um, if I do, it will be something that I want um, because you can see right back here, I have a ton and there's another room in there that has a lot of Yankee candle and other type candles that um, I need to get through. So, um, yeah. If I can get through these three, at least two of these, I will be super happy. This one is just kind of like an add-on. It's really not like the 15th. I just bought this last week. I think it was last Sunday I bought this one. So, um, but I definitely want to try to get through this Acquiesce. And it has a really pretty um, silver piece on the front of it. It's really nice. You can put pins or brushes in it or whatever. And then I definitely want to try to get through this Yankee Candle Berry Trifle because it's, um, 
Valentine's month. So I wanted to get through a red one or a pink one and I found that one and I think that one's the best one to do. So if you're doing um, a candle challenge or you're trying to get through your candles, let me know what you got through last month or what you're going to try to do this month. I always love to know what you guys are doing. Um, you guys help inspire me and you tell me that I help inspire you to do things. So I love that. Um, that's one of my favorite things about my channel is I learn a ton from you guys. I put the videos out and you all are like, did you try this or did you try that? And I'm like, no, because my thinking box is about this big and it just it doesn't work. But um, I'm super happy with it. And um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll have at least two more done by the end of next month. So I will let you know. And if I get more than... 12 done by the end of the year I will be so happy so I just wanted to give you an update on this um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe please do I would love to have you here and I will see you guys in my next video have a good day bye